Hey, Carlitos, good night. How are you, sir? We missed you yesterday. Hi, Carlitos. Yes, I, I, I was a, a problem. What happened? You had a problem? Yes, uh, I have an accident. Oh my God. Uh, yes, and so, uh, how do you say, I will be una costilla. <laughs> Oh my God! So you 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 hit a rib, a rib, a rib, but, but yeah, it's hit or it's broken. No, it's only hit. Oh my God! Yes, and so when uh. I arrive at my house, only uh, only I I I I I take my uh, dinner and my bed. I, I, yes, of course. Oh my God! Yes. but it's not nothing else happened to you. Uh, Oh, in this moment, only the, the how do you say the paint and the and the ribs, but but it's better today. Oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's because yesterday was right was raining, right? Uh, yes. That could be. Yeah. And what and what happened? You uh, I don't know. Somebody hit you. You hit it. What's going on? Teacher, I, I have a problem with my. What happened? No. So you I only have the blow and the bruise, right? The, the, yes. Blow and the bruise. You know what blow and bruise is? Mm -hmm. El golpe y el moretón. No, moretón. How do you say in English? Ah, bruise. morete is bruise. 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 I will spell it to you. I will write it for you. B r b r b r u i s e. B r u i. Bruise. Moretón. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, Carly. But, but I listened. I listened the the video. Oh, you watched the video. Oh, yes, that's yes. cool. That's cool. So yes, I'm so I, happy. But do you feel much better? Is it is not hurt? Yes, when I Ugh. can, I cannot stand up or sit. Uh huh. Oops. No, be careful. Can you put? Yeah. You can. You can also ask your wife to put like some eyes. No, no, I uh, put the, uh, how do you say, prolong the, the same, the, the ungüent, the same. Oh, bathroom. ointment, ointment. O ointment, uh -huh. uh, similar to, oh. to prolong. Oh, okay, what it was in a spray? Take, take, yes, take a pills too. You took a pill, okay. Yeah. Oh and my God. Uh, in this moment, uh, better. Do you feel better now? Better. Yeah, a little bit better? Yes. But it still hurts, right? Well, thanks God that nothing else happens to you. Just, just mm -hmm. uh, the hit and the blow on the on the ribs, and that's it. Oh, so, yes. Sorry to yes. hear that, but I'm happy yeah. that you're okay. And the and the, and the platform teacher, I uh, only uh, I need finish three, three what? Three cent. Section three, three section three. four. No, I finished the section one, two, three, four. And this moment, the finally the exam. Final exam. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. That's oh, awesome. Only, only uh, uh, five of, by three finish. Oh, five, so five, five by three. Of the, uh, five of the eight. Ah, of the okay. Eight finish. Oh, that's cool. So you're still missing three. Yay. <laughs> that's yeah, cool. Yeah, but. but uh, I need to practice more. Detail. Of course, of course. That's why we are here, but don't worry, okay? At least you can rest today because yesterday you had an accident and you can like yes. continue during the weekend. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, and you're no I, I, one, Carlitos. You're the what? only man right now. Yesterday, <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Two, two guys. No, yeah, George but and, you know what? The first George one was um, Jorjito. <laughs> Yes. was blessed around the girls yeah, Alex. <laughs> and then Alex appeared so only two guys and they were missing and what happened to Carlito but you know what uh I I don't know if you noticed but in one time during the class I called um Jorjito Carlitos I don't know why and I told him you know what what happened what did you because both of you have uh, the same um middle name Antonio uh -huh. so that that's what I got confused yeah <laughs> hey but you you see you're blessed we have dinita we have b today jesse and brie hopefully brie is not laying on the couch like a couch potato right 
Uh, I am couch potato you, okay. on the weekend, teacher. <laughs> but the at least you accept yourself that you're a couch potato. <laughs> yeah. All righty. What about you, Dinita? Are you a couch potato? Oh, no. No, right? You see, couch potato. No, couch <laughs> potato. She's, she's a really active girl. What about yeah. you, B? Yeah. Are you a couch yeah. potato? Um, sometimes sometimes yeah. she's honest <laughs> sometimes she's it <laughs> all righty well okay what about a uh, jesse are you a couch potato hello hello jesse are you a couch potato um yes okay she's honest just like that <laughs> uh, only Dinita said, no way, I'm not. All righty, <laughs> what about Brie? What about you, Brie? Brie. Hi, Brie. How are you, girl? I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, you know what, guys? Do you think that by any chance, Brie is on the couch, on the couch right now, on the sofa? <laughs> Laying on the sofa or in a hamaca, maybe. Brie, we want to see you. At least for a few seconds, if you don't mind. Because I know that you are a couch potato. You have said that, right? Es que pasa, teacher. No sé cómo se dice. Yo me duermo temprano. Oh, I go back to sleep early. Yes. Uh, ah. And my kids go to early at 8 p.m. Ah, school. 8 p.m. Uh, ah, no. So you're okay. right now your kids are already in bed. Yes. Ah. Yes, they are. And you do, I right think. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I try to quiet. Oh, uh, do you sleep in the same bed? No, no, no. Ah, oh, okay, I, okay. I have my own room. Your own room, okay. Uh, uh, pero, uh, but if I am talking, if you're making a lot of noise, bed. yes, they can wake up. Yes. And <laughs> can, can you, by any chance, can you close the door? <laughs> Just saying. I don't know. That's a good idea, right? No, no, no. Because the the room the the room of days the rooms uh -huh, the yes. room okay um it's next to me next to my room ah okay and, yes. uh -huh. and it's always um and i sleep with the lights on uh-huh because <laughs> i you're afraid of darkness I feel scary at night. <laughs> ah, you you are you are afraid of darkness. Yes, I am afraid of the darkness. Ah, come and on. I <laughs> and my husband uh, go to home uh, until midnight. Ooh. Midnight, yes. He arrives back home un until midnight. Wow, too late. Yes, yes, yeah. and then always I'm in the sofa or in my bed <laughs> because i tried to ah, okay got it but there but there is still a, a awake you know i can listen kids playing is that right guys yeah. you see yeah. Yeah. Wake up right now <laughs> so you see you can you can turn it on your camera that's fine for us <laughs> maybe you're a completely disaster right now <laughs> just kidding <Brie. laughs> that's yeah. okay yeah <laughs> you see but you look so really pretty, pretty. I like it. Natural. Why not? Of no. course. No. Oh, me, she said, right? <laughs> oh, that's okay for us. Don't worry about that. That when I Ah, okay. Say hi, baby. <laughs> hey, that's the, yeah. I love kids. I used to give kids classes. And to be honest with you, I had to learn how to jump, 
how to do like a military way like this. Also how to sing. Well, I do not sing like Francine Atra, but I try to do my best, right? Um, what else? Oh, to like, I don't know, sleep, paint. Even though I also tried uh, different snacks, churritos, Doritos, <laughs> because I had never tried them. And my students uh, taught me the different type of Doritos, the green ones, the red ones, the purple ones, I think. But the purple ones are the worst for me because they're really spicy. Ooh. So you see? I, I like to... Doritos. Green. Green you, like, Doritos. You, you like Doritos? Less green. The green one, ah, yes, the green one is the, is the nicest one because the, door, the purple one, no way. It's a combination between acid and at the same time, a little bit like whew, spicy, so oof, no way. At least they are not for me anymore. After that, I have a really stomach ache that you cannot imagine because how you say that in, a, in English, Spanish? Ah, ya, ya no tengo la misma concretera que antes. Yes, <laughs> that, that it is. <laughs> I used to have it, but no, not anymore. Okay, guys, let me ask you something. We will continue with our yesterday's topic, but uh, I want to ask you something. Uh -huh. I'm going to share with you. Uh, do you remember, guys, that yesterday, the last thing that we talked, it was a specific kind of uh, place that some people stayed if they, they are not uh, ready or they do not have time or they couldn't arrive to their own houses. Do you remember what was the name of that place that we talked yesterday? Do you remember? It, it was a kind of hotel, but do you remember what kind of hotel was it? No? No idea? No, 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 no? No. It was a capsule hotel. Um, yeah, and, and, I, yeah. And, and I ask you guys if you know or if you have a scene about it. And do you remember that I asked you to, to review Armageddon movie? Because in in the place when they like trying to get to the paradise city, they need to took like a space airplane, right? And uh, the, the, pay, the space when they are inside the airplane, it looks like similar to capsule hotel, but it is not actually. You know what, there are different type of, when they started, they used to be like one simple kind of capsule hotels, but nowadays they have been uh, different ones. And some of them are really with a good price, but if you're willing to pay more, you have a different kind of, of prices for a capsule hotel. But now guys, what I want you to do is to listen. I want you guys to, we're going to start with the listening practice uh, and regarding the capsule hotel. What I want you guys to pay attention to is basically that you're going to listen somebody that already had experience on that place. His name is Brad. And I want you guys to pay attention on how he describes that, um, that place. But in the meantime, while you're listening, I'm going to send it to you right now, guys, on the WhatsApp. I will send it to you a little square that has approximately four, no, one, no, six, six adjectives that we use to describe places. Remember, convenient, cramped, and all the stuffs. So while you are listening to what he's describing that place, I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you guys to pay attention on what is exactly the adjectives that he used in order to describe that place. It could be all of them, or it could be not, right? So that's what I want, guys. I want you guys just to pay attention to that um, to that description of Mr. Brad. Let me check it out. There you go. Can, do you have it already, guys? I already sent it to the WhatsApp. Can you check it out if you receive it? Yes, I did. Yeah, okay, cool. So now that everybody has it, pay attention to what he says about that kind of place. And then we're going to discuss, everybody, which, which of the adjectives uh, he used to describe that place. So let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Page 18, exercise five. 
Listening. Capsule Hotels. Part A. Listen to Brad describe a capsule hotel. Check the words that best describe it. Welcome to the program, Your Home is My Home. Our guest tonight is Brad Phillips from California. Brad, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, at the moment, I'm working as an English teacher in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is an exciting city, but it's also very spread out. It can sometimes take hours to go from one part of the city to another. When I don't feel like going all the way home, I sometimes stay in a capsule hotel. A capsule hotel? Can you explain what that is? Yeah, it's a hotel with lots of small rooms. Actually, they're not really rooms. They're spaces that are two meters by one meter and only a meter high. In other words, they're very cramped. But the hotel is cheap and very convenient. And what's inside each little room, or should I say, each space? Well, inside every capsule, there's a bed, a TV. A TV? Really? Yeah, and a reading light, a radio, and an alarm clock. The hotel also has lockers where you can keep your personal belongings. Interesting. So, what kind of people stay in a capsule hotel? Well, probably people like me. People who miss the last train home or don't want to go all the way home only to turn around and come back to work again. It gets pretty busy, as you can imagine. Finally, would you recommend a capsule hotel to other people? Sure. The rooms are small, but you get used to sleeping in a small space. I just wouldn't recommend a capsule hotel to people who can't relax in small, cramped spaces. Okay, guys. So, after hearing the information about what Brad said, can you please be so kind to let me know which adjectives did he use to describe a capsule hotel? Cramped. Cramped. What else? Convenient. Convenient. Is there another one? Right. Right. Very good. Okay, guys, may I ask you, uh, where is he from? Where is he from? I want to know his nationality. Is he um, is he Mexican? No. Is he Colombian? Japan. No. No. no, no he is? He's American. Well, yeah. Yes, he's, he's, because he is teaching English. Exactly. He's from California. So he's California. English. He's an English teacher. Where? Where, Nubi? In, to in Tokyo. In Tokyo. Tokyo. In Tokyo, Japan. Exactly. So he said that when he, because it's really ex extensive, Japan. So sometimes it's really hard to to uh, to get from one place to another you don't catch a train or whatever so when he cannot uh, he couldn't catch a train or he wants to, he doesn't want to go directly to his house he takes a capsule hotel right okay now guys we're good on that now we're gonna listen one more time and this time what i want you to let us know or can we discuss what is exactly what objects or what things you can find inside a capsule hotel, okay? But allow me it's, just a couple of minutes because I'm gonna share with you something. If for the people the, there are very busy. Yes, because you're right about that. Only use for the sleep. Yeah, they, no yet. I just want you guys to, pay, yes, you're right about that, uh, Carlitos. So I want you guys to pay attention, listen one more time and guys, Besides a bed, of course, because you need to have a bed to sleep, what does the hotel provide? I want, guys, four things. Okay, so yes, we're going to play it one more time. And then I want to ask you about what other things that you can find on a capsule hotel besides the bed itself. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me play it one more time. Page 18, exercise five, listening. Capsule Hotels. Part A. Listen to Brad describe a capsule hotel. 
Check the words that best describe it. Welcome to the program, Your Home is My Home. Our guest tonight is Brad Phillips from California. Brad, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, at the moment, I'm working as an English teacher in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is an exciting city, but it's also very spread out. It can sometimes take hours to go from one part of the city to another. When I don't feel like going all the way home, I sometimes stay in a capsule hotel. A capsule hotel? Can you explain what that is? Yeah, it's a hotel with lots of small rooms. Actually, they're not really rooms. They're spaces that are two meters by one meter and only a meter high. In other words, they're very cramped. But the hotel is cheap and very convenient. And what's inside each little room, or should I say, each space? Well, inside every capsule, there's a bed, a TV. A TV? Really? Yeah, and a reading light, a radio, and an alarm clock. The hotel also has lockers where you can keep your personal belongings. Interesting. So, what kind of people stay in a capsule hotel? Well, probably people like me. People who miss the last train home or don't want to go all the way home only to turn around and come back to work again. It gets pretty busy, as you can imagine. Finally, would you recommend a capsule hotel to other people? Sure. The rooms are small, but you get used to sleeping in a small space. I just wouldn't recommend a capsule hotel to people who can't relax in small, cramped spaces. Okay, guys, so now that you will listen one more time, what else you can, you can find in a capsule hotel besides bed? TV. 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 Very good. What else? Radio. 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 What else? Locker. Alarm. 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 No. Alarm clock, yes, but lockers are Locker. outside. Locker. No yeah. inside the bed. Outside of outside. Oh. Yes. But no inside Radio. the bed. Radio. Radio. Very good. Radio. Radio. A lamp. Right? Lamp. So lamp. you can listen or you can read. Very good. Hey guys. It is really hard, right, to, to imagine what kind of hotel it is, right? Because right now you're just listening how he describes, uh, what adjectives he used to describe it, what things you can find in inside of the capsule hotel. But it will be a little bit easy, right, if we can have an image about what is it or how it is. So your beautiful teacher, that means me. <laughs> oh my God, teacher, you're so selfish. Yes, I am sometimes. <laughs> no, but I just wanna, and I wanna share with you right now, guys, a, a capsule hotel, actually. I uh, just, I just found, well, there's, as I said, there is like a different kind of capsule hotels. But um, to be honest with you, um, I have, I have searched, for one that you can find in Japan. Well, actually there are two. So let me just a couple of minutes. <laughs> there you go. Yes, let me cut this one really quickly and then I'm gonna put it here. There you go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Woof. Let me try to make it a little bit small, this one. There you go. Okay. So let me move it here. All righty. Okay, guys, now I'm going to share my screen. So let me just a couple of minutes. I was like moving all the stops in order for it to be like order. Can you see it, guys? Yeah, yeah can you yeah. see a capsule hotel? I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. So let yeah, me just a couple check. of minutes. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Okay, what about now? So much better? Yeah. Okay, so you see what you have? There's a two kind of, you see? Look at these ones. You see that that is like kind of, kind of Armageddon movie. You see, <laughs> yeah. We you, can you see that this is a little space, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. You see, you have there the TV, the alarm, right? The radio that is over there. Uh, those are the stairs, you know. These ones are the stairs, so you can like jump in if you decide to be in the in the second floor. You see, these ones these ones are the stairs. So can you imagine, guys? You see, we have a, on the left side, we have a TV, we have a lamp, you see, 
I think, guys, it would be similar if you are on a space, right? If you are an astronaut or something like that. What do you think? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like that, right? Yes. Yeah. So, guys, may I ask you, uh, do you like to, to stay in a capsule hotel? Not really, for right? Experience, no, for experience, no, for maybe. experience, maybe. But uh, if you're a person that doesn't like like tiny places or tiny spaces, spaces like um the one that says claustrophobia, right? Oh, if yeah. you're like that way, I don't, I do not recommend uh, capsule hotels for you. And today for the contamination for the I know, no, yeah. for no, right now, mm -mm. <laughs> I, I don't think they're going, they're still working, at least not right now. It's a, like a, a, a grave. Yeah. A tomb, I don't know. Imagine, you know. imagine if you're a little yeah. bit shabby like me, I, I cannot, I cannot fit on the capsule hotel. <laughs> no way. Or if you imagine, don't like, yeah, you don't it's like it's it, right? Yeah. No, no, it's, it's very small. Yes, as I said, uh, that is like the most common ones. But nowadays, they have changed. They have improved. So, of course, there are another capsule hotels like you are right to a reception and there's this place when you can take a shower or something like that. But if there's more uh, fancy, of course, it's going to be more expensive, right? So, but right now, I don't think that they are working due to the quarantine, right? But it's really interesting, right? As experience, like Denita yeah. said. But uh, if you feel claustrophobia, I don't think I won't. I won't recommend that. Yes. Ah, and you have an air conditioner. <laughs> yeah, oh. most of them has an air conditioner. Most of them. Most of them. You know what? For me, it would be really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really. But yeah, but if you're crazy when you sleep. Like you're turning around and turning around. I don't know <laughs> because at, uh, during the date or when you wake up, you will be like with a lot of blooms, a, a lot yeah. of bruises, right? A lot of bruises, a lot of moretones because you will be bruises. like, yeah, you will be like this. Yeah, so I don't recommend it. If you're crazy when you're asleep, don't go into a capsule hotel. I'm crazy for a sleep. Uh, so Nelsie, those are not for you. <laughs> All right, guys. So you see, you, you learned or you knew another type of place that you can use to, to stay, at least for a night, right? Yeah. So I don't I don't think we don't have a capsule hotels here. No. Mm -mm. No, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Teacher, the, yes, the neighbors, the neighbors are very uh, close. 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 Uh -huh. Oh, yes. There is are. very close the neighbor. Yes, basically it is. Yes, it's because it's just a place just to, to sleep at night, basically. Yes, yeah. so only sleep. Only Basically, it's only to sleep. Yes, nothing else. Then next morning, if you want to go back home, you can do it. And if not, you can stay in that place. Yeah. You pay only for the day that you, that you, be, that you are there. Mm-hmm. So can you imagine how many capsule hotels talk you has? Oof. You know what? I'm going to search for another type of capsule hotels and I promise I'm going to I'm going to show it to you, okay? <laughs> All righty guys. So now that we have learned another type of uh, place that you can use to to live at least temporarily and and also we improve the their listening and we use the adjectives that we have learned so far, I want you guys to do me a favor. Um, now most of you live in a house, uh, except for Dinita. Dinita lives in an apartment. However, guys, may I ask you, do you remember the first time that you arrived to the place where you live right now? Do you remember, Dinita, when you arrived the first time at the apartment, or oh, Nelsie, or Bree, Bane, Carlitos, Jesse, Nuvi, and B? Do you remember? uh-huh yeah. okay it's good that you remember now do me a favor uh, do you also remember the previous the previous place that you were before el lugar que estaban antes like your previously house your previously apartment yeah do you remember that as well yeah. uh-huh so now okay if you remember it's good because you know what? I'm going to ask you something. 
I knew it, teacher. I knew it. All righty. So uh, this is going to be uh, individual activity right now. Um, but I just want you guys to do me a favor. Think about your old house and your new house or your old apartment and your new apartment. And this is what I want you to do. Do you remember that we have learned about evaluations and comparisons? So what I want you to do is to do me a favor. Write a small paragraph, like no longer than five sentences will be good. Only one paragraph. When you are sending like an email to one of your friends. And, and imagine that is the first time that you are in your house, Nelsie. In the, in the new house, of course. And it's the first time, Dinita, that you're in your new apartment, for example. That's what I ask you if you remember, because I want you guys to start writing and describe or compare your old apartment with a new one, your old house with a new one. And I'm going to give you an example, okay? Just to give you an idea. That's what I'm going to do. Allow me just a couple of minutes, because I'm not going to leave you alone. Don't worry, okay? Let me check it out really quickly. Mm-hmm. There you go. All righty. Let me see it right now. I'm going to put it a little bit bigger. All right. Good, 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 good. Okay. And then I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay. Can you see it, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay. Would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Or that's okay? Is it better now? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so I want you guys to do me a favor. Uh, we're going to practice the speaking, but at the same time, the reading. So I want you guys to help me read this email. So let me double check who's going to be the first big team. Sorry, the first participant. Dinita, could you please start if you don't mind? And I will let you know where you can stop. Dinita. Please sorry, sorry. It's okay. Dear Emma. How are things with with you? Okay. Otra vez, porque es a question. Okay. Otra vez. You can do it. Dear em Emma, how are things with you? Mm -hmm. My big news is that I just moved to a new apartment. Okay, stay there. Very good. Okay. So very good. So my big news is that I just moved to a new apartment. Excellent. Continue reading, please, uh, Novi. Do you remember my old apartment? Mm -hmm. It didn't have enough space. Very good. Stop I... there. Stop there. I know. She's getting like excited. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Uh, continue, Jesse. 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 Okay, okay. Um, my new I apartment. Didn't... No, my new apartment. This one. Uh, my new apartment has hush has a huge a huge, huge. uh-huh my new apartment has a huge living room and two bathrooms continue also my old living room was too dark but my new own my new one is brighter 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 very good and continue please carlitos but there aren't enough window in the bedroom so they they are too dark there are very good excellent good job guys congratulations just practice some uh, um pronunciation how are things with you can you please repeat it for me how are, how things, are, things, with you? How are things with you very good news news, news. i just moved to a new apartment. I just, I just moved, moved to a new apartment. apartment. Space. Space. Huge. 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 Bathrooms. 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 Dark. 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 Brighter. 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 Aren't enough windows. 
Very good. So now, guys, do you have an idea what I want? Yes? I give, if you want to, guys, what I can do, I, I can uh, send this little paragraph in the WhatsApp in order for you to have it handy. Para que lo tengan en la mano, you have it handy. And I will give you guys um, five minutes. Don't worry if you finish, if you have not finished. No, I will give you five minutes individually. In the WhatsApp, teacher. In the WhatsApp, I'm going to send it. And then, guys, we're going to come up together, okay? And we, we're going to, each of you will, um, will read for everybody your description about your houses and apartments. And then we can double check if we have something in common or not, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me send it right now with you. And as soon as you receive it, this little um, example, let me know, please. Let me check it out really quickly. Hey, thank you, Carlitos. Okay, do you guys receive it by any chance? Yeah. Okay, so Very I sent it you in the WhatsApp just to helping you create yours. I will give you, right now it's 8.35 p.m. So I will give you until 8.40. Okay, and start writing. Compare your old house with a new one. Compare your old apartment with a new one, okay? Do as many things, as, as many sentences as you can. But imagine, guys, think about that you are going to, is something exciting for you? And you're going to send an email to your friend? Algo que te, que te excita, que te, te pones feliz. Y me acabo de mudar para mi nueva casa, right? Or my, my new apartment. Y cuál es tu nombre? Which is your uh, your best friend, Nelsie? ¿Cómo se llama tu mejor amiga, Nelsie? I cannot hear, listen to you. Sorry, your microphone is off. Okay. My my best friend here. Her name is Teresa. Okay, so you said, dear Teresa, I had to let you know. I just moved to my new house like that, right? Entonces tú empiezas. Oh, Dinita, who's your best friend? Hey, Maritza. So you say, hey, Maritza, I gotta tell you, this new apartment is fantastic. And you start talking about your new apartment. Again, that's what I want, okay? Hey, guys, five minutes, and then we come back. Uh, it's 8.36. I, I took one minute to, to, to be with you right now, but it will be at around 8.41. We're going to come back, okay? I will be here if you need me. Okay, time counts right now. You can start. You can start writing. Puedes empezar a escribir, Bane. Comparando, yep, lo, lo, tu casa y tu apartamento. I'll be right back. Finish, guys? No yet, right? 
Okay, we have three more minutes. Guy, how do you say rechinar in English? <laughs> what do you mean uh, that, about that? Rechinar los dientes or what? Bruxismo. Bruxis. Bruxismo. No. <laughs> El que brux, yes, yes yeah. eh, Dinita. Pero But rechinar son the, the los food. dientes. Yes. Rugir es, en inglés. Yeah. Como eh, crujir. No. Um, rechinar es bruxism. Braxism. Braxism. Mm -hmm. Pero es rechinar but, los dientes. But, 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 for example, a, a child uh, reach, uh, rechina. Let's see, a rechina. Rach, rach. I cracky. 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 Or oh, crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> crunchy. Remember. Uh -huh. crack, crack. This is crunchy one. Uh -huh. okay. okay, guys. Time is over. Don't worry if you have enough finish. Whatever you have, okay? Yeah. Okay, let me start with you, Carlitos. Go ahead. Carlitos. Houston, do we have a problem here? No. Hi, Carlitos, go ahead. It's quite, it's quite, I put that it's quite. No, but you had to, to speak in front of everybody, Carlitos. Come on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All okay. right. Okay. okay. I, I, listen, I guys, really... listen, listen carefully what he said. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, dear teacher. Yes. Uh, well, not, uh, dear teacher, when I was young, I lived in a very modest house. Then when I came to San Salvador to study, I lived in an apartment. This was during the war period. Period. Uh, period. And the house is more space than the apartments. The apartments can be hard being noise such as a squeaky bells, for example. Richie, 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 Richie. Uh, oh, really? Oh my God. So, so, for example, the, the song. The, the... <laughs> oh my goodness, Carlito. So, oh my yes. God. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, midnight. <laughs> I can't even. What about what? It was a bright uh, apartment or a dark apartment? It's a dark apartment. A dark apartment. Dark apartment yeah. So it, and it wasn't. It, it was a small one, right? Yes, because we live in the Sacamil. Uh, 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 okay. Two, three, four people, more students. 
<gasps> and Ooh. yes, uh, study when the the FMLN uh, FMLN uh, broken the how do you say post the tendido electrical 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 pulse huh uh, uh, really broken, uh, oh, study with the candles bellas uh -huh. yeah with the candles like uh, yeah I remember uh -huh. those days yes and so and, and then uh, hear different noises. Wow, so you yeah. heard different noises. So it was, yeah. it was quite, it was kind of a creepy experience, right? <laughs> no, okay. no, no, teacher. But interesting it, at the it, same time. It was very funny. Well, I mean, you, this, this, can this you imagine the noises? Them? This is noise, it's the bell. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Yes, teacher, it was very funny. Oh, my it's, goodness. Uh, uh, there are the there are study the study mathematics and oh. the put in the uh, black uh, race mm -hmm. black uh, black uh, uh, blackboard uh, blackboard yes study mathematics and say Ricky Rick what happened listen listen Ricky Rick oh it's hey, only poor here <laughs> thanks God that he has a broken rib right now. Yes. Thanks, God. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Carlitos. It was really fun for, for him, right? Yeah, very funny. What fun. about you, Dinita? Does it happen the same or can you describe no, it? No. No, not at all, right? Very okay. Close. Different, totally. <laughs> okay. So tell us about your experience. Okay. Dear Maritza, I have many things to tell you. I finally moved it into my new apartment. Mm -hmm. My new apartment is quite quieter. Quiet. Than the, quiet. Quieter. Quieter, uh -huh. yes. Than the old house. It is a small, very, it is, the, the, it is a small, but very cozy. My old house has two gardens. In my new apartment, I only have a small, a small one. I'm loving it. Very good. Good job, girl. Okay. Excellent job. Very good. Congratulations. My goodness. You are so inspired today. <laughs> what about you, Nelsie? Go ahead, girl. Oh, okay. Este, dear Teresa, how are things with you? My my big news is that I, I just moved to a, a new house. Do you remember my old house? I didn't have an old space for my pets. In my in my new house, I have uh uh it's, it's really big and he, he it has a beautiful living room with a TV, radio, and a comfortable sofa. I enjoy my new kitchen room. I cook pupusas and cafe. It's delicious. Yeah, that was good. But you have to invite us, Elsie. You see, yeah, yeah. Dina and me, we were thinking about the same. <laughs> yeah, right. Imagine a huge kitchen and she's like making pupusas and coffee. Come on, Elsie. You should invite us. Yeah. Yeah. I think Dinita and I, we are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already have my it's dinner. Friday. It's Friday. The body knows that it's Friday. Yes, definitely. Yes. Very good, Nelsie. That was awesome. Good job, girl. Let me see who else. Uh, Nuvita, what about you, girl? Yes. Yeah, uh, listen hi. to you. Hi. Hi, Lisbeth. I want to tell you something. Um, I moved to my new house with, with my family. My previous house aren't safe enough for us. Um, I am really happy. It is much bigger than the previous one. Has a garden, garage, three rooms. Besides that, it's very bright. This house is modern. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was great, Nubi. Good job. I, you know what? While you were describing your house, I was like using my imagination. Yeah. And talking about the garden and everything. And I was imagining the pets running around. That was yes. really good. And I think it's the house that you have right now, right? Yes. Uh -huh. 
yeah. You see, we're going to do something, Dina. What do you think? We can go to Nubi's house and we can also ask Nelsie to come to us and she can pre prepare proposals for everybody. Yeah. That was awesome. That's a good idea, right? What do you think? Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> yeah. Girl power. <laughs> Very good, girls. Yeah. In, okay. in, in, uh, today, uh -huh. today is uh, for the dinner, pupusas. Really? Cheese, yes. Wow. But for did my you, kids. Did you prepare them or did you buy yes. them? Yes. No, oh, just, uh, excuse me. I make, I make. Oh, oh. I, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Okay, yeah, <laughs> really? Wow, yeah. that was great. Oh, so we have two ladies here, well, including me, that can prepare pupusas. <laughs> Oh, yes. but they're really brand new in this area so <laughs> so yeah. yeah so maybe nelsey and Nubi can give us uh i don't know a lesson right a cook lesson why not of course you know what i love a uh, ayote one ayote papelillo cochinito mm -hmm. what else chicken one oof mushrooms yeah. garlic cream Jal yes jalapeno oof and also she's in chacalino in chacalino too Cha yes chacalino. i have tried them yeah they're right. really good you know the what yeah, yeah no a friend of mine they, they made like a party of course before the quarantine right she lives in like uh, near near the airport the national airport what is the name of that place san luis talpa yes san luis talpa but it's like uh, what is tequaluja it is a little bit a little bit far from some list of probably just like a one kilometer or something like that. So they prepare like um shrimp pupusas, but at the same time they prepare fish pupusas. I was like, mm -hmm. how they're going to taste? Well, I gotta try. Yeah, but the way that they prepare all the ingredients, oh my goodness, I think they have added like cilantro. Yeah, and the, the fish ones, <gasps> you cannot imagine. And, and, with and cheese. With <laughs> cheese. Yeah, yeah. Mix but, it with cheese. Yes, but I think they have, they, they have fried it, the, the, the meat of the fish. They uh -huh. have fried it. And they've uh, mixed it with the, with the cilantro. They're like a pepesca, teacher. Yeah, yeah, no, you know what? It's totally different because pepesca, I think they're already, they're already salty. They're yes, salty. Yes. But, but the fish, you need to like put your own... I don't know your own touch, right? Mm -hmm. Your ingredient, you put salt, you put you, you make your own preparation. So you know when it was, yeah, it was really, really good. Yeah, and mm -hmm. chacalinto is amazing. Yeah, so I love it. So you see, it's a good idea, right? Mm, why not? Yeah. Okay, guys, very good. So we're going to to know if somebody else uh, can do pupus or something else because everybody we can go to Nubi's house right and do and do like like a camping or something like that <laughs> all right let's listen to Bree Bree are you still awake <laughs> sure I yeah. am <laughs> no I just asking okay so Bree can you please describe your old house and the new house okay do your best um <clears throat> Dear Mate, I hope you are good. I have news for you. I moved to my new house. Mm. Uh, do you remember my old house? And the city, um, I use city, but I, I, yo quise decir, <laughs> lo siento, pueblito. <laughs> oh, village, small town. Village, my old house in the village. It was very small for my family. Now my husband and I, I have much space. It, it is our house and need a little remodeling. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Remodeling. Model. Así está bien? Yes, very good. But there is an um, there is amazing and have a beautiful backyard. It's too bigger for my children. Oh my god, that's good. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it is your actual house, right? Uh, como, perdón, no it is your actual house. It's to casa yes. actual. Oh, that's good. So guys, do we now we have two two places. We can go to Nubi's house, we can go to Brie House, whatever you prefer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very good. Excellent job. Bane, what about you, girl? 
Bani. Bani, Bani. Hello. 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 My new, my new house is big. It has four, four rooms. My old house was to crumble. To crumble. To crumble. And it has two room only. Really? Oh, but okay. my old house, but my old house was convenient because it was near of my job. And ah. my new house is far. <laughs> so you said that your new house is not as convenient as your old house. Yes. Oh, that's cool because of your job. Yeah, that is one of these advantages, yes. right? Well. Yes. Oh, only that teacher. But, but that's good. Good job. Great job. And Jesse, what about you, Jesse? I wanna wanna hear you. Jesse. Hi. 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 <laughs> okay. Dear Flor, how are you? I have one thing to tell you. I I bought a new house. My new house have four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a big garden. Do you remember my whole, my old house? It was small and I don't have a space for my pets. Stay in the gate. Very good, excellent, that's good, good job. All right, very good. And the last but not least, a B. What about you, girl? Uh, okay, uh, there, Jose. I have a new grade. I moved to new uh, new house. House. Uh, I don't live more in San Salvador. Okay. I moved. I moved to Lourdes because I gonna to closer to my parents. Yeah. I love this place because it's very quiet, and my parents can visit me every day. I am very happy because, because it's my first house and I can I can de decorate it to my leaking. Uh, also, I have a big garden and I'm going to adopt a cute pet, pet and maybe I can have a beautiful plants and flowers. Oh my God, you're so inspired, B. Great job, girl. Very good. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. No, thank you. So, guys, we already have listened, all of you, right, about describing your house and the difference. And you said some adjectives to describe it. Now, do me a favor. According to what you have heard, um, how are the descriptions uh, similar? Do, did you notice something similar when you? When all of you describes your house in your apartments, are the descriptions similar or are they different? What do you think? Did you find any similarity? I found one when, while I was listening to all of you. Most of you love to have a yard, right? So when you moved, you like a yard, right? For what? For your pets. Yeah, that's one. Did you did you identify another similarity or another difference? Alguna diferencia entre las descripciones? Say, somebody yeah? say, uh, new house have four four bedrooms. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Two two. Yes, Bunny. I think uh -huh. Bunny. Bunny and, and I don't know the name the other. <laughs> uh huh. And also uh, I think Nubi. Okay. Uh huh. Also Nelsi, I think you moved because you were thinking about your pet. Also Nubi, about her pet and about her children, and I think B as well because B, a. Uh, she, she's thinking about adopting a, 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 a puppy, right? So you see. Any any difference, guys? Any difference that you found? A difference between your descriptions? 
Only one of the time. I know everybody wants to participate when he wants to speak. I know, but hold your horses, please. Al suave, como se dice. Calmado. Todo el mundo. Uno a la vez, una a la vez, por favor. Come on, please. Uh -huh, Nelsie, what do you think? If, if I have found um, a difference, difference with, uh -huh. with my description. With, with your description and with everybody else's descriptions. With your classmates. Mm -hmm. If they have mm -hmm. said something in common, or maybe they have said something different from you. What yes. do you think? Pupusas. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Who said pupusas? Who said that how, that know how to prepare pupusas? Who said that? Yes, um, Nubia. Ah, but I'm not talking about, about food no. girls. I'm talking about description of the house. Come on. <laughs> yes, I, I, I remember he, she, she made pupusas for him. His dinner, her dinner, uh -huh. and you too. <laughs> and, and me? No, I yes. can't. I can't prepare, but I didn't make it ah, for dinner. Okay. Ah, no, but I, I, they remember the food, but they don't remember the description of the house. Come on. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, I, kitchen. the kitchen. The kitchen. Yes. Yeah. The kitchen. Yes. The kitchen. Yeah. And yeah. it's in a space and having no space in here in the house. Uh huh. So in your old house, your old house, eh, eh, there isn't enough space. Yes. Ah, okay, that's good. Yes, yes because it's very cramped. Cramped, it was cramped. Ah, okay. It was cramped, I yes. got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So now that we have spoken about our, in comparing and evaluating the houses and the apartments that we used to live in, the one that we live right now, it, there's something that we're going to put in the space right now or in the in I don't know in the what in the environment if you can do that if you can say that um sometimes guys there's we have one reality right but we want or we hope that there are some things that we have right now we have a better right for example, maybe I don't know. Maybe Dinita, Dinita, wish to to have like um, I don't know a bigger apartment maybe than the one she has right now, right? Uh huh. Or maybe Ban, a uh, wish that she could live uh, in the house that she lives right now, but her her job is closer, right? Qué quiero decir que a veces um. A veces tenemos nuestra propia realidad, right? Our own reality, right? And uh, yo sé que tengo que hablar a veces un poquito de español porque si hablo mucho inglés, ustedes dicen, what's going on with her? Ah, no entiendo. <laughs> no, don't worry about it, don't worry. Okay, pero no, no se acostumbren, eh? no se acostumbren. <laughs> Entonces, um, a veces tenemos una realidad, right? Eh, nuestra casa, trabajo, eh, etc. Entonces, a veces hay cosas que pasamos en este momento, pero te gustaría que parte de tu realidad fuera un poquito diferente, right? Un poquito diferente, ya sea para bien, of course, no para mal, right? Entonces, en inglés, hay, vamos a aprender una expresión que nosotros utilizamos mucho eh, y que lo utilizamos pero es una expresión que sale de lo común, que no sigue las reglas gramaticales. Incluso, fíjate, es una expresión que usamos verbos en pasado para expresar cosas que desearíamos cambiar de nuestra realidad en el presente. Qué raro, right? It's really weird. Sí. ¿Han oído la palabra wish? Yes. yes. ¿La han yes. utilizado? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Wish. Wish. I wish. Exactly. Como desear, exactly. Yes. Como hopefully. Como a desire. Aha, exactly. Entonces, that's what we're going to see on Monday. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ya solo les doy como un trampoline para que más o menos tengan una idea de qué es lo que vamos a ver. Exactly. Monday. Eh, on Monday. Yeah, on Monday, Carlito. But if you want to have class tomorrow, that's fine for me. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> okay, and now, nah. <laughs> Carlito, come on. Okay, okay, guys, you know what? Time is over. 
So if you want to continue eating your pupusas, that's fine. With a cup of <laughs> coffee, that will be excellent, right? And if you yeah. want to go to back to sleep, Carlitos, because I know that you're in pain. Okay, you can also yeah. do that. Guys, I am so happy that I can see you. I was so happy that Carlito, Carlito was blessed. He was the only guy in the class. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Oh, all right, girls. So I wish you the best. Have a great night and amazing weekend, okay? And take care, guys. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. bye. Thank Good night, you. everybody. Bye -bye. Say hi Happy. to your babies, Bree. Happy. And Nubi. Happy weekend. Bye. Happy weekend.